Hello everybody, I'm just here and welcome back to Free Run episode 9. <clears throat> this is my second attempt at recording it because uh, the first time, thankfully during the intro, not during the actual reaction section, uh, OBS just crashed on me. Go figure, I know why it just crashed. Uh, hopefully it won't crash now, but it did instill the fear, uh, the fear of God in me. I'm gonna be honest with you, <laughs> I'd rather it not crash again. Um, right. In today's episode, uh, some demons are probably going to be uh, defeated, destroyed, utterly pulverized by none else but Fern and Stark, or perhaps by Freeren depending on uh, whether we are going to follow Fern and Stark and uh, grab granats, or we are going to follow Freeren and um, Aura. We'll see about that. In a previous episode, uh, first of all, Freeren freed herself from the prison. Well, didn't really free herself, she was freed uh, by the rat who came into the cell to, to kill her, to assassinate her, and he got killed instead, in a very easy, ruthless, no scruples kind of way. Freedom just disarmed him, literally, uh, cut off his head, and uh, not even gave him a chance to beg for life, not even giving him a chance to, to monologue, none of that, just very easy uh, deal. And then she went after, well, not quite, but eventually she did go after Aura. Uh, the ruler of the demons in the area. Graf Granat <clears throat> was notified of one of his guards in the jail dying, he was notified of Freedom escaping, and uh, he started suspecting, he started being suspicious of Lugner and Linie. Right? Where is that third one of yours? He wouldn't have happened to have gone to the prison, trying to do something, right? I know that Freeren didn't kill the guard, she got captured and just gave herself up, so why would she try to escape now, and why would she kill a guard, she, if she could have done it? But she didn't. So is that third one of yours really in the lavatory right now, or is he perhaps somewhere else? Uh, he is somewhere else. I don't know where demons go after death, but probably not in heaven. Uh, although maybe we're gonna meet him in Aureole, who knows. And a uh, fight ensued, uh, where Graf Granat of course wavered, uh, because Lugner mentioned something about his son dying, easily being easily defeated, he wavered, stumbled, and got pierced by Lugner's blood magic and uh, carried over somewhere, because he is the only one who can take down the barrier around the city. Meanwhile, Stark and Fern uh, meet up with Freeren, catch up, and decide they want to help. Uh, Freeren reluctantly agrees, uh, says that Stark and Freeren are more than enough to deal with Lugner and Lili, Linie, sorry, and she herself goes after Aura, Freeren the demon slayer that she is. So, Fern and Stark devise a plan how to save Granat, and it succeeds, honestly. Stark goes in, uh, tries to save Granat, gets <coughs> spotted by Lugner and Linie, uh, gets into a fight with Lugner, holds his own for some time, then Fern blasts him with magic, uh, with upgraded killing spell that has been upgraded specifically for killing demons. Because of course, because it's Freeran's creation and Freeran has a grudge against demons. If she could uh, genocide them all, she absolutely would. And she will. I believe in her. Her life is long enough to genocide all of the demons. Um, Lugner unfortunately survives, Linia steps in, Fern gets into talking with them, unfortunately. Mm, she falls for their use of language because of her inexperience. And they flee, Fern and Stark flee with Granat, instead of just vaporizing those demons fully. So we will fight them again eventually. 
perhaps in this episode, perhaps not, we'll see. Uh, we have essentially two battles going on right now, uh, the fight of Freeran versus Aura, and the fight of Fern, Fern and Stark versus Lugner and Linia. And Fre Fern is a really good mage, because she managed to uh, completely hide from a demon Linia, whose entire shtick is detection magic. Uh, which is also interesting that demons, uh, like sacrifice themselves to just one single only kind of magic, right? Lugner can only do blood magic, but can do blood magic really well. Linia can only do detection magic, but can do detection magic really well. Although she did have some sort of a sphere of energy, so I assume you can also... Demons can also use other spells, but perhaps they aren't as strong. I don't know about that. Uh, meanwhile, Freeran is uh, expanding her repertoire of spells and not so much focusing on any specific one. Uh, so that's the situation. Freeran versus Aura, Stark and Fern versus Lugner and Linie. Where's that gonna take us? I don't know. This episode knows, probably. So how about we just watch it, shall we? To do that, you will need your subs, of course, to follow along with me. I'm gonna need my sound to hear what's going on in the show. And I'm also gonna have to ask you guys for your support. Support the channel if you want monetary on Patreon or YouTube down below. Or not, share my content, spread the word, it costs you nothing and it helps a lot. And with that, we can start watching a free run episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, starting with the OP. That's fine. Also, with me watching episode 9, I'm almost caught up. Episode 10 is out right now. And I'm watching episode 9, so almost there. Very close. I like the opening. <laughs> uh, you, you can really see me, my, my gradual, you know, getting used to the opening. At first I really didn't think it fits the series. Now I do think that it mostly, for the most part, fits. Especially now that it's been proven that Priren is not just only going to be a slow, sad, melancholy kind of series. Because if it was, then this opening would absolutely fucking lutely not fit, but it isn't. Right, and uh, Lugner did meet Freeran back in the days, which makes me question why is he still alive? How is he still alive? How did Freer and the Slayer not slay him? Wait, Solson of Freeran? That's what he said? Solson of Freeran doesn't mean Freer and the Slayer, does it? Okay, so I assume today's episode is going to be mostly about Freeran versus Aura. Don't you have any healing spells, Fern? Yeah. The best demon is a dead demon. She was correct about that. Yeah. He's smart. I like it. Yep. Hero Freeran. The very same. Uh, 
Okay, so she can control the, uh, whatchamacallit, the armors. Okay. You're giving up the high ground? Yeah, you can't really win against her in melee, I'm afraid. You probably can't win against her in ranged combat either, to be fair, but... Can't win in melee? Either. Mm. Not really. <laughs> but Priren is no slouch either. She also grew stronger over time, I would assume. Necromancy, basically. They have skeletons inside? Or just animated suits of armor? That's a Granat... A pendant, isn't it? Graf Granat's son? Perchance? Okay, what do they do? And whichever soul is strongest wins. Okay, yep. And as a demon, she has a fuck ton of mana. Freeran probably has more, or has some other countermeasures. Destroy the scales? Or that, okay. So, Freeran has it all figured out. Immediate decapitation. That's why guillotine. Right? And that's why none of the puppets have heads. Oh, that was close. What's that spell? Just instant purge. <laughs> Oh, insta dispel. Okay. Right. Before you manage to go through the puppets with your magic, you're gonna have, you know, used up a good chunk of your mana. Makes, makes sense why she would be using puppets. Or rather, why would puppets be beneficial to her? Ah, 
as if you were going to do it any differently. <laughs> Okay, so the church has its own individual barrier. That's cool. That's gonna be useful. Kill the demons. Exactly. He's a travel companion of Freer and the Slayer, after all. Oh, those individual strands of hair! Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, through shaky hands and through the fear, someone's gotta do it. And what are the guards gone? Sure, I guess. I don't think there's a need to evacuate the town, though. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> I thought Stark the Dragon Slayer is finally showing up, but alas, <laughs> not quite yet. Can you pass through the barrier? Does the barrier only stop demons? Yeah. Do you have a cleaning spell, maybe? Uh, okay, the most logical thing to do. <laughs> oh, you're being tracked. Yep, that's who's... Oh, it genuinely was the most logical thing to do, wasn't it? Well, shit. Axe versus Axe. Okay. Oh, can she copy fighting techniques? Hmm. Okay, Stark, I can see getting out of it. How's Fern gonna do it, though, I wonder? Because Linie also knows uh, Aizen's techniques, probably. He's fi she's fighting Aura. Aura, sorry. I mean, she's not lying. Oh, stereo. Hmm, can you not cast magic without a staff, I wonder? Oh, Axio staff. Sh 
Shoot. Why are you talking to him? Kill on the spot. Fern. Fern. Then do. Okay, a flashback to killing white cows, I guess. You don't have as much experience. Yeah, exactly. It's just a matter of time. You simply have less time than Freeren. What the fuck happened here? Experience. Oh, okay. So, so she's a quick draw. Game of chicken. <laughs> okay. She has a quick trigger finger. Okay, good to know. Useful knowledge. Right, because his power is blood. As long as he can pump blood, he can regenerate any part of his body. I would assume. No, you're not. Get the fuck up, Stark. Exactly. You're no quitter. The music. Okay. I love Fern. <laughs> She's as much of a badass as her master. How is she comparing then? <laughs> Right, a sniper rifle versus, uh, versus an SMG, basically. Unlikely that that's gonna happen. Fighting Stark. <clears throat> Easier said than done. No upskirt for you, Stark. Is he gonna lose an eye? Hmm. 
Yeah, she can copy the techniques. Oh, he didn't lose the eye, okay. And she can apparently summon different weapons. Yeah, a lance now? Or a spear? Oof, okay. <laughs> uh, great animation this episode. That's why, after destroying a um, demon settlement, you should make sure to glass the area and salt the earth, so that nobody hiding under some roots survives. Yes, you can. You killed a dragon, my dude. Okay, maybe you can't. Is Stark gonna rise up again? Well, your right arm is kind of falling off. That's falling. Yeah, but you can't give up. Give it your all even if you have a disadvantage. Fair. <clears throat> Perseverance. Exactly. Yeah, as long as you can stand, you haven't lost. How is your right arm still functioning? It's been cleaved straight through. Hmm. Okay. You just dulled your blade. Meanwhile, Freeren is... Oh, I thought it's gonna cut to Freeren fighting Aura. <sighs> okay, I was afraid... OBS crashed again, but no, it's just my app that I use to control OBS. Not enough. <laughs> That's how his shoulder wasn't clipped through. There we go. That's how you strike. <laughs> you don't stop your hit. You hit until you hit the ground. And there goes his heart. <laughs> Amazing. Fri Friren, Fern, the Demon Slayer, has been born. <laughs> Oh, I don't have Wi-Fi. I don't have internet. That's why my OBS controlling app doesn't want to connect. Shit. How's Shield Hero upload going? Okay, phew. It's uploaded, okay. It got uploaded before internet went out. Oh, and the internet is back again. Okay. 
Cool. Great. Thank you for that brief break that scared the shit out of me. Really good episode. Uh-huh. A powerful mage. Okay, so are we gonna get some backstory on Freeren? There's something about that um, elven village being destroyed or something? I don't know. What I do know is that we're gonna see this episode again. Oh, P O P O P O P. <clears throat> yeah, it was Freeren. I really like that uh, Granat is not stupid. I fully expected him to fully play into the demon's shenanigans and actually legit be fooled by them and here be like, oh, have you taken me hostage? Do you, do you want me to pardon your friend? I will not. She attacked the guard. You know, I fully expected shit like that, but no. He's, he's not even smart. It's like a normal person. I very often get the distinct feeling that characters in anime, manga, but not only, also in like Western productions, they are just incredibly fucking dumped down. They are behaving in completely stupid ways because the plot demands it. I very often get that feeling and not so much here. Uh, when it comes to Freeren, I really do get the feeling that everybody is a, could be an actual, real, living human being who manages to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. It was Aura, one of the Seven Sages of Destruction. Freeren, of course, has very little issue fighting her. Their magic couldn't be more disgusting. Yeah, I would guess it is a form of necromancy. All of the suits of armor actually have rotting corpses inst inside of them, or perhaps even skeletons by now. Yeah, we see some different pendants. This one I do not recognize, perhaps Freeren does. This one looks like a Granat family pendant, so probably... Uh, Granat's son. Scales of Obedience. This is very interesting mechanic. If your soul or the amount of mana or whatever you want to call it is judged by the scales to be lesser than the owner of the scales, you will obey the owner of the scales. And uh, this is this is legit a weapon just made for demons. Demons have amazing understanding of magic. They probably have a metric fuckton of mana. So they could go 1v1 with those scales. She can defeat anybody. Basically anybody. Uh, from what we've seen in the uh, in the text after the uh, ending credits. I would assume that perhaps back in the days Freeren didn't have enough mana to stand up against her. That's why she didn't defeat Aura back then. She had to fall back because she knew that she's going to fail. But if she knew that then, then over all those years, she surely found some way to either bypass the effect of the scales or increase her mana enough for the scales to not have an effect on her. Either either of the two. Uh, it's a risky spell, but that's what makes it powerful indeed. If a soul with greater mana than Aura's were to be placed on the scales, Aura could be defeated. Yeah. 
uh, hasn't happened once in 500 years. I would assume last time it happened, it was I, it was Flamme, wasn't it, who tipped the scales, I would assume. Since Aura became a sage of destruction. There is a way to fight it. If you have a strong enough will, you can resist the spell temporarily, which is what Granat's son did, as we can see. Uh, I assume that, yeah, because this is the sword, uh, I would assume that if Freeren cannot tip the scales, then she will have enough willpower that she'll at least be able to, I know, fire one last Zolthrak at the scales and destroy them or something like that. And the guillotine dealt with them in the most logical way after gaining control. Yeah, you gain control over someone and they can overpower that control and still be a threat to you while they are still alive. And you can also control corpses. So control someone turn them into a corpse through beheading, and you don't have to worry about them rising against you, no matter how strong their will is. Makes perfect sense. That's cool. I like it. I like it when magic and abilities and the way people fight in, in the shows I watch makes sense. This makes sense. This is cool. Also, not bad CG. Really not bad for a CG army. Instant Dispel. But yeah, it must expand a considerable amount of mana. Uh, having this many puppets really fits her ability well. It, it's kind of like a self-perpetuating... Not self-perpetuating, but like... A spell that, after being used, makes itself stronger. Uh, I thought all this time that the scale judges your maybe total mana capacity, right? If you have a stronger soul, you have more mana capacity, and that's what it judges. But apparently, it judges your current mana amount. So, after you're done cutting through all those uh, revenants with your magic, your mana levels have been decreased. So the scales will judge you more harshly. And the more puppets you have, the more your prospective attacker will use, uh, the more mana will your prospective attacker use trying to get to you. So you get another puppet and now it, it gets harder to get, right? It's self-empowering kind of a spell. Cool. It, it actually legit genuinely feels powerful, uh, but the fatal flaw of it judges fairly it really makes me not afraid for Freeren, because I do have a sneaking suspicion that Freeren actually has more mana than uh, than um, Aura. Yeah, I have a feeling that's the case. It raises a question though, why did Aura just not use the scales on Freeren straight away? I guess because she wants to play it safe and she wants to deplete Freeren's Aura as much as she can. Probably why. Last time we fought, you blew them away with flash spells left and right, and he must scolded me because I used a lot of mana and I was an easy target for the scales. Yep, yep. You demons are monsters after all, you don't grieve your dead ones, you have no attachment, you're just beasts. I will have no qualms killing you. Interesting that a church would have its own separate barrier. Is it... Every church that has it, it comes with being a holy ground, or is it the church being like the last bastion in case the city gets overrun, you get another barrier inside. Then again, this barrier apparently isn't as strong as the city's barrier, so I'm not sure what's going on. Probably comes with it being a holy ground, that would be my guess. Mm-hmm. We only landed that hit before because we caught him off guard. I I love those individual strands of hair. There is so much attention put to hair in the series. Hair and eyes, for the most part. 
you you don't really ever see those like stray hair going off to the sides and bulging out and getting caught on clothing, right? You don't ever see it. Unless it's a shoujo series and we're going shoujo vision and the one of the main interests moves away the heroine's hair, then you see the in individual strands. But besides that, you don't ever... It's cool. I really love this show. It has so much attention to details, such an amazing uh, art, such amazing animation. Let's do our best together. You evacuate Townsville, then you're going to... Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be free and return. I, I really thought that this spark is actually that, you know, a little bit of confidence, right? Stark, the, the dragon slayer, finally kind of showed up in him. Maybe if not confidence, that then that bravery, right? I'm going to hold them off or something like that. But no, no, of course not. This is an amazing shot. <laughs> the distance between them grows and grows. Yeah, that's great. Uh, that's great. I guess I guess Stark will remain this brave, coward kind of a character. Which is cool, which is fine. He has his own personality. He has his own quirks. Cool shit. Uh -huh. Your arm's in a terrible state. You want to talk, you're covered in blood too. Whose blood is it? She really quickly added two and two together and figured out what's the deal. It's not mine. So whose is it? I was wondering if it's animated on once, perhaps. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, movement upwards is animated on once. Her undressing is animated on twos still. One, two, 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 one, two. Yeah, I thought it's gonna be something like, I know, she doesn't wanna show her weakness to, to Stark, so, so she'd rather throw away the cape then uh, Stark figure out that she was wounded or something. But no, she actually got it figured out that someone put that blood on them. There's mana in this blood. They're, tri they're tracing us down. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I really, really, really do enjoy Fern as a character. No wonder she's getting so much fan art. Oh boy, the amount of fan art she's getting. That was my master's technique. And she got pierced. <laughs> Questioning. Piran fled the town. She really should have shot her shot. Instead of monologuing. Now, sure. I'm used to that by now. I'm really used to characters doing that. Characters need to have their monologue in, don't they? Uh, anime really loves monologues before killing the enemy or dialogue with the enemy and, oh no, I spent time talking to them, I revealed my intentions and now I'm at a disadvantage? How could that have happened? I'm used to that. Don't get me wrong, uh, but I really liked how Freedom did it. Cut one head off, cut the other head off, uh, put him, put drag down on on the ground, grab his by the neck, cut off his head, not even allowing him to to talk, not giving any last speech, last uh, monologue. Oh, I know you, dragon kind. I know that you use your sweet words only to make us waver, but I, Freer and the Demon Slayer, I shall not waver. You're weaker than me. Don't you see that? You never stood a chance in the first place. Yada, 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 before beheading him. She just grabbed him, beheaded him, done deal. Fern lacks that experience and lacks that ruthlessness, I guess. She wants to get her monologue in. She still wants to get a little bit of talking.
And of course, it serves the narrative purpose of explaining to us, the stupid audience who didn't figure it out, what's actually happening here. You're proud and arrogant, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can blast a hole through your heart, but are you fast enough? Yes, you are. Yes, she is, rather. You fire off spells faster than I do. They might not be as strong as mine, but they are faster. And uh, this is how you can tell that an action scene is incoming. The uh, graphical fidelity takes a little bit of a cut. Less highlights, less lines on the face, because they're going to be moving a lot. Your heart is your weak point. Yep, get it. Oh, this, this is the best moment, right? No shadows on his face, no highlights, just a plain splotch of color. His hand as well, no highlights, no shadows, because it's going to be moving a lot. Of course, Stark is not going to be defeated that easily. My mana technique and control are all for greater than hers, but not your speed of casting spells. Yeah, this was just a visual feast, this entire fight, this entire combat. I would love to go through it, like, frame by frame even, or go through it again, replay it. But first of all, YouTube copyright would not let me live. Second of all, it would take a lot, a lot of time. Uh, I really like this, I don't want to say a parallel to Freeran, but Freeran wears all white, and in this moment, Fern is also wearing all white. Notice. Now, I know that's because she ditched her coat, but still, it draws a little bit of a parallel here, doesn't it? I'm being overwhelmed by the sheer number of attacks, pure and simple. Yeah, she can cast a lot. Battle of Attrition? Exhaust her mana? No. Fern kind of prides herself in having a lot of mana. <laughs> That's kind of her shtick. That she has a lot of mana and can cast really strong spells, but they don't have but they, but they lack the focus, or lacked the focus, because she trained that. Now she has a lot of mana, strong casting, and focus. And speed. She's big, mean killing machine, demon killing machine specifically, but also cow killing as we as we've seen. Battle of attrition is not gonna work. Of course. I really thought Stark lost his eye here and I was wondering how are they gonna handle it? Is the eye gonna get healed? Is he gonna start wearing an eye patch? What's gonna happen here? But no, as usual in anime, cut to the eye just busts your uh, eyebrow and you just get flooded by blood, but the eye is still perfectly fine. I memorize the flow of mana inside a person when they move. Yeah, sh her branch of magic is observation after all. Detection, observation. Really, really, really cool fighting scenes. Yeah, they're doing some really cool shit here. Great animation, great art, great everything. A amazing choreography to the fight as well. Aerial combat, uh, Linie switching her weapons every now and then, that's, that's super cool. And being able to use every one of those weapons efficiently. And... Uh, this really seems like he had his shoulder entirely cleaved through. But apparently the bones and the tendons and the muscles just came out of it unscathed. She just cut open his clothes and a bit of skin, maybe? Then again, I guess they wouldn't show his arm just flapping around, cut off partially in the anime. I don't know. Or maybe he was correct that her cats aren't as deep, aren't as strong as 
Uh, Isens. You can defeat me, but you must get up. You must stand back up. You keep getting back and hitting them. Whoever's still standing at the end is the winner. Uh, reminded me a lot of the recent episodes of uh, Shy. Right, there was also that moment of fighting and she hasn't given up yet. She's still fighting. Uh, I'm alive. Yeah, I'm still standing. I haven't lost. And your blows, they aren't as strong as my masters. <laughs> Baltery. Is it like a combination of battery, as in a uh, an artillery battery, and artery, as in blood artery? That's why Balter... I don't know. Or maybe it's just a made-up word. Could very well be. Look, ma! Fireworks! <laughs> White swing with no regard for defense. Yep. He's lost his mind? No, he's berserking. He got cut in the back? Yeah, but... Your axe is kind of occupied right now. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Madoka dies again. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and yeah, and Stark using the bloods. Blood's technique from Sahet and a Paladin, catching weapon with his ribs. <laughs> and you shouldn't have wavered. Your demon fighting technique all relies on making the enemy waver with your words. You should have listened to your own advice. Get soul tracked, bitch. <laughs> Easy. I love it. I absolutely adore it. I, I love Fern. I, I this is such an amazing visual. She's such an amazing character. Oh boy. I like Freeren, but I love Fern. I hereby I claim her as my waifu. <laughs> such a great show, such a great episode. She engages her directly, Freeran will lose, because you're a far more powerful mage, kill all the elves. So, probably memories of Freeran when she escaped from a village that got all the elves killed or something. I don't know. Ugh. Alright. Uh, today is a good day. Today is a good day. I... I just got done watching a very enjoyable episode of Shield Hero Season 3. Now I got done watching a very enjoyable enjoyable episode of Freeran. My friends are visiting me tomorrow. Life is good. Life is good, man. That's all I gotta say, really. Uh, I mean, what can I say? D does it even warrant adding anything to it? It's an amazing show. It's an amazing episode. I... I said it time and again, but I really like how everybody behaves like actual people and not overdrawn, overacted caricatures, right? Fern is fast with taking off her cloak and throwing it out, but it's to the point. There is no... There's efficiency. Yeah, there's efficiency to it, right? There's no bit of monologue that she has explaining what's going on. Uh, she doesn't flail widely trying to take off the cloak, right? There's none of that. She takes it off, bundles it up, throws it, throws it away. We don't know what the, fuck it's, what the fuck's going on. It barely registers because it's efficient, because she's efficient. And every character is efficient. They're very reserved in their gestures, very reserved in their facial expressions, very reserved with their words. And this is very much a breath of fresh air, because anime really tends to be not just anime, not just anime, media in general, uh, tends to be very... I don't want to say cocomelonized, 
kind of, sort of, right? Flashing colors, wild gestures, funny, funny facial expressions, stuff like that. This is... This is adult. Not, not the best word to use it. Mature. Yeah, this is like mature. It works. It's that refined piece of, I don't know, cheese that kids might not enjoy because it's too sharp for them. But you love to get a bit of that cheese, an olive, uh, a piece of Graham bread or something and, and eat something like that. And kids don't like it because they would rather eat uh, tendies with ketchup. But you have more refined, more adult tastes so it's more up to up to your tastes i guess that's kind of how frieden um seems to me it's not that i don't know how to even call it it's not a shonen it's very much a seinen but with shonen like action scenes and that's probably the best combination you can hope for that's probably the best combination you can get really i'm enjoying it and I'm rambling, because I really don't have much more to say on the topic. It's good. Shit's good, yo. And I love Fern. <clears throat> I really do enjoy her as a character. Um, I was kind of afraid that she's gonna be uh, kind of kind of sort of a clone of Frieden. But no. No, she's very much creating her own personality. She's colder than Frieden more, which is, you know, uh, a little... Um, a little ironic considering what Frieden means in German. Uh, I really like her as a character. I really like her in action. I really like her demeanor. I really like her design. It's good. The world is realistic, internally consistent. The characters are realistic, internally consistent. They're not caricatures. Good shit. Good shit. That's what I'm gonna say. And with that, I guess that's gonna be it from me for today. So, as always, you guys leave the comment down below. Uh, comment down below telling me uh, what did you think of this episode, of my reaction, my theories, stuff like that. Uh, no spoilers, please, I beg of you. Spoilers can always go to my Discord here, also in the description below. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel to be notified of future videos of not only Freeran, uh, but also... Uh, Magia Record, Shangri-La Frontier, Shy, Shield Hero, Tatanusha, plenty of others coming in the future. S uh, click the bell to be notified when I go live because I stream sometimes. Support the channel if you want monetarily on Patreon, link down below, where for 10 bucks a month you get early access to non-seasonal shows like Magia Record. And for just a dollar you get a roll on the Discord and a place in the credits. You can also support me directly on YouTube itself via memberships, super thanks, stuff like that. And if you don't want to spend any money whatsoever, you don't have to. Share my content, spread the word, it costs you absolutely nothing and helps the channel a lot. And now, with all of that out of the way, that's gonna be it from me for today. So as always, you guys do all the good stuff, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Cheers! And here's my wonderful Patreons, QB, without a net, Chris Viver, Zay Rainer, Akamancer, David, Dr. Ward, Marshy, Gale, Fassel, and Hans Peter. And you can join them without having to fight out of the guillotine.